Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Ankita Nagraj. I head the customer success team at Cellwrap. We're back again with another amazing video guide. Uh, this will conclude our Amazon beginner series for what has been an amazing Q1 season. So if you haven't caught our previous video, the link is in the description below where we discuss different types of fees associated with selling on Amazon. So wow, Amazon has recorded a 20% increase in sales for the last Q4 season, which still proves that Amazon is still the king of holiday season shopping. Uh, sellers are making more profit now than ever before. So it's been a crazy month for us here at Seller App as well because we've been getting a lot of new signups. One thing that I've noticed with new sellers is that they don't know how to get started. So in this video, we'll talk about how to register as a seller on Amazon.com and discuss each and every step that goes into the registration process and also what to do after to set up your account. So are you excited to get started on Amazon? So let's first discuss how to access the registration link. Um, I would highly recommend you to keep all of the information that is required uh, at the beginning before you start the registration process. So this includes um, your legal business name, contact information, uh, and your business address, um, the email ID you plan on using for your account, uh, an international credit card with a valid billing address, bank account information, um, your tax information, which includes your social security number or your company's federal tax ID number. So this whole process is fairly simple and it should take you about 30 minutes. To access the Seller Central signup page, go to services.amazon.com. Get the link from the description below. Click on Start Selling. Now click on Create Your Amazon Account under New to Selling box here. So just enter your name, the professional email address you want to use, and a password for your new account. Now click on Next. A verification code will be sent to your registered email, which you can paste here. So after you have verified your new Amazon seller account, you will be redirected to the setup menu. Here you'll have to go through five sections to create your seller central account. The first section is the seller agreement. As discussed below, you'll have to keep these things ready before going ahead. This is where you enter your legal name. So if you're selling as an individual seller, you can go ahead and write your full name. If you have a registered company and are doing business under that name, then you need to enter the name of your company and your full name. You may want to read terms and conditions. It is a pretty straightforward agreement and it will give you a clear picture of what to expect next. So after you're done, check this box and click on next. So this section called seller information asks for all of your major professional details. In the first step, you can enter your business address. Next, you need to choose a unique display name for your business. This is important. This is the name that people are going to see on your listing page when they come to buy your products. So you ideally want to keep this as simple and generic as possible so that you can cover products from various niches in your listings. On the other hand, if you want to focus only on a specific niche like electronics or footwear or something along those lines, then you can pick a display name that gives the visitor a good idea of what your business is all about. After this, you have the option to enter your website URL or the link where you sell your products. So by doing this, you're allowing Amazon to go through the site, your website and gather all the necessary information and content to help create your listings. So the last step of the section involves registration and verification of your mobile number. Just enter your mobile number and select an option between call and SMS to verify your number. You will get a pin, enter the pin, and you're all good to go. This next section is all about your billing and deposit details. You'll have to enter your credit card details and other banking information here. Make sure you enter a valid building address here. So here in the deposit method, you have to fill out the information correctly as this is how you're going to get your money from Amazon. Whatever money you make selling products on the platform, Amazon will transfer it to your bank account you mentioned here. 
Now enter the account holder's name and your bank account number and any other information that is required and click on next. Now we're done with all the super easy sections and we'll be getting down to some serious steps. So pay attention here. In the fourth section, you need to enter tax information. This is the most crucial part of the entire process and a few of our customers have had issues here. Click on start tax interview. The questions in this interview are straightforward and you need to answer them correctly without any errors. Also, if you're not sure about anything, it is better to contact your financial advisor or an accountant. Since you are dealing with taxes and the IRS, it is better to be absolutely sure before you enter any information. The first few questions are fairly easy, like whether you will receive payments as an individual or sole proprietor or a business, and whether you are a US citizen or a non-US citizen and the name of your entity. In this step, you will be required to select your federal tax classification from the drop-down menu if you have registered as a business. Depending on the type of your company that you have registered, you will have to choose between C Corporation, S Corporation, Partnership, Trust or Estate, Limited Liability Company or other. However, if you're selling as an individual or sole proprietor, then the drop-down options will not be applicable to you. After that, you need to enter your address and tax identification number. This can be either your tax identification number, which is TIN, or social security number, SSN, or your employer identification number, EIN. EIN is applicable if you have registered as a business. Again, when you're filing these details, please recheck and make sure that you're not committing any mistakes. Following this, you will be asked to provide your consent for an electronic signature for your W-9 form. If you choose to provide your consent, scroll down and fill in your name. If you do not provide consent, then you will be required to download your completed W-9 form, sign it and mail a hard copy to Amazon. The mailing address is mentioned in the description. So the tricky part is now over. Select exit interview and you will be taken to the last part about product information. In this fifth and last section called product information, you'll have to give basic details about the type of items you plan on selling on Amazon. Here you'll be asked to enter information about UPCs, universal product codes. Um, they are numbers that are uniquely assigned to each trade item in the US. If you have UPCs for all of your products, then click yes otherwise no. In this next step, click yes if you manufacture and brand all your products, otherwise click no. So the next step asks for the number of products you plan to sell, click on your option accordingly. After selecting all of the options, make sure that whatever category you choose, you avoid any problems down the road. Lastly, click finish to complete the sign up process and that's it. You have successfully created your seller account on Amazon. It's as easy as that. Remember, in case you want to edit any of this stuff or add new product categories, you can always do that later. So that's it for this detailed video guide on how to sign up uh, on Amazon Seller Central. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Put it in the comment section below. And as usual, we hope you enjoyed our video. And if you'd like to access all of the tools and features to have a profitable uh, business on Amazon, you can head over to sellerwrap.com, sign into your 7-day free trial to access great features to research high potential products, get the best performing keywords for your listing, improve your listings quality and optimize your sponsored ads. We're also running a contest on Facebook. All you have to do is just like and share this video with the hashtag learn with sellerwrap and one lucky winner will get free access to sellerwrap professional plan for one full month. So we'll be back with another great FBA tutorial video. So until next time, thank you and bye.